Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. And as usual, a quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction, there is a timestamp below. So, <laughs> Moss Huge. What a what a brilliant name for a monster, right? His name is Moss Huge. Not Moss Small, Moss Huge. Might as well be called Moss Smart because we haven't had this level of intelligence for monsters other than Xenos, right? From other, you know, uh, non-speaking monsters, we haven't had this kind of behavior where they actually kill other monsters, eat their crystals, and they're able to grow stronger to the point where it can make decision makings based on certain things like Bell was about to cast Firebolt. Moss, Moss Huge tried to close the gap to prevent him from using Firebolt. Bell basically fell down to the water. Moss Huge got him tangled up. But then instead of completely drowning and whatever, Moss Huge kind of stayed on and then let Bell go through another waterfall side. Like these are intelligent strategic moves that we don't we wouldn't expect from a monster, right? But he's doing it. Kind of got fucked up because... You know, the elf and the dwarf party that was kind of in the previous episodes arguing at Anus Place Guild at the, at the guild headquarters, they are captured. We are, Chigusa is already down, but we're like, you know what? We could go back up and then request for help, or we could try defeating Moss Hughes. And if we do that, then maybe all this plant parasite seed things go away, which intuitively probably makes sense. But would you risk that over a guess? Then again, Daphne, or was it Cassandra, said that um, it was, we've seen other moss like monsters behave in the same way where if you kill the source everything else kind of disappears probably works that way took a risk and lily's being more of a strategist that she's built up to be but it wasn't enough because bell still got <laughs> bell got sacrificed at the end he, he's not dead but he fell down the waterfall while everyone else got saved now the waterfall extended down quite far the environment looks similar to floor 25 so i'm gonna assume that it's still floor 25 but in the previous episodes, they mentioned that the waterfall can extend down towards 27th directly. It took the waterfall all the way down, right? I'm not really sure where we are. Maybe it's not 27 because the environment's still the same. And there was this kind of funny scene. Well, it's not really funny yet. There's like a bunch of birds that's attacking us bullets. But then what really gets I uh, Bell motivated is the reflection of eyes. What would eyes do if you were in this situation, right? Beat all of them. And then the mermaid's in the side going. Wow, that was amazing. It's like, bitch, you couldn't do anything to help. I wonder if she's like a monster or if she's going to be, I don't know. What other creatures could exist in the dungeon other than just monster, right? So she would have to be a monster unless she's a Xenos. I don't, I don't really know. But there is a mermaid involved and let's see what's going to happen in, in today's episode. What? Hello. Hi. Okay, zoom in on the blue measure. <laughs> she ran away. Good job, Belle. What was that immediate <laughs> The girl of water city. Monster or... Xenos? That's all I would imagine exists in the dungeons. Just monster, but it can talk than Xenos, right? Are you? What is it? Okay, stop flexing your mermaid powers. Oh! Jumps out bell? A friendly hug because he recognized Ray. Who's Ray? Another human? Ray son. Rito and Ray. Am I supposed to recognize these names? Are these the other Xenos members? Gross, okay, okay, it is. Okay, yeah. So it is the Xenos. So we're getting reunited with the Xenos then. Yeah. <laughs> you should know about Bell if they've talked about Bell, right? Healing powers? Just look at his whole Yo! I, I... That's a lot of mermaid fan service happening right now, but... Hey, hey! Don't... <laughs> yeah. This is kind of throw me off all the other uh, despair and like all the really intense situations before, but yes, it would look really awkward. <laughs> no, no! Where is up? What's her name? Okay, he's recovering. That's pretty much what I would expect it. What's her... Fuck. Weenie! What about Weenie? Don't let her see this! That spit animation. God damn. You gonna lick it? Don't lick it! Yeah, this is how they would do it, right? I forget. Was it the Ulysses? I forget exactly what book or what um, lore it was, but sailors would get trapped by the song and they would just die. And the mermaids would just eat them. Was it mermaids or was it harpies or I don't Yeah, 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 we get it! <laughs> the big titty zoom every time. <laughs> I'm surprised we're going back to this, uh. Old fan service that 
Bell, you're surrounded by women who have their titties out in full display all the time. Oh, do you want to see them in time? <laughs> like... I guess it's because she's not wearing anything, this just hair covering it, but like, Aisha, I mean, come on. Their titties are just on full display all the time. <laughs> I got clothes, thank you for the seashell bra. <laughs> Where is Wiene? He hasn't mentioned Wiene. Higher floor? Oh, they left her behind? Because she can only exist in the water. Oh. Oh, no. She can't. Oh, no. This is fucking sad. <laughs> it's another damsel in distress. Can she grow legs? Somehow? You gotta leave me behind. I'm sorry, Murray, but... But then you'll leave me. Who are you scared of? What other monsters? What other places? Is it the moss monster? Probably moss huge. Moss huge. <laughs> we can't stay here. I'm sorry, Murray. We've only... We, we've only met you for like 10 minutes. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I can't get attached to her. This No, no, no. Think about what we've been through, Wiene. We spent an entire season towards her. I'm not gonna fall so easily over 10 minutes, but... Murray, we gotta leave. I don't think he would. He's a main character. Probably, but then what about you after, Murray? You just to chill here? I feel... Can you just grow a pair of legs like the little mermaid and like come join us? Surely she'll have some discover some kind of skill that allows her to do that, right? Probably. Because if not, she really just is just stuck here forever. That's, that sucks. Sonar waves? By singing, she can get the sound to reverberate back and then she can have an understanding of the entire geography of the area. Or was that just a bait? A shout to lure some things in. I don't know. We're calling something. Was that a calling signal? Okay. Okay. Just to communicate, sure. Pretty useful. Yeah. But Bell can't swim as fast as you. <laughs> Does he have to just like run around the corner, I guess? Is it the crab guy? No, it's a different monster. I don't know, but more important monsters. Get out of the way, guys. So much threats everywhere, and this is just the 25th. Buddy? What, what do you mean I can't? What do you mean? Someone... I don't know about that logic, but... Oh, is he being dumb or is he being a hero right now? Mikoto? Oh? Secret technique that Kate taught of her, right? Okay, let's watch, 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 watch. Shing! Okay. The killer technique that he taught her. Okay, what? The name of the technique? What's... The... Honor the alias. What is it called? Zekka. Absolute flower. Oh! Okay, so it was a Shishi song, song kind of like Zoro's like a lion song. One flash, right? Just one cut. Shh. The most like stereotypical like anime samurai swords and kind of skill, but it's so good every time, right? It's so good every time. No, everybody is independently holding up pretty well. Okay, Aisha's even showing respect. Okay, okay. Even though Bell is a centerpiece, the entire party isn't collapsing without him. What? Okay, how are we gonna go together? Carry her? There's a monster. We gotta just carry her. Murray, get up. We need to carry you out of here. You, oh, pick her out of the water. Pick her out of the water. Let's go. <laughs> Just dragging her up. Will she be fine like this though? I feel like at a certain point, she will get her legs somehow. Fire. Here we go. 
These are the the limited magic. Oh my god, those crystals though. Watch the fucking swamp monster just eat it all. Watch moss use it. Like, ah, I was waiting for this. Oh yeah. More crabs out of nowhere. There's so many fucking crabs, man. A monster party. We're gonna be okay. Maybe Bell finds us soon and uses fireballs and saves the day. I think we'll be fine still. I should still hear too. I feel like because of they explicitly showed us the crystals. That sh <laughs> listen up as I show the sword on you, throws. But huh? Something. How do you miss spell? What are we doing? Oh, holy hell, queen! <laughs> sure. What are we doing? What is it? What is it? Is it like a teleportation spell? Or is it like an AoE buff? AoE level buff, maybe? It's either the two, right? AO it's teleport, get us out of here, or AoE level buff that enhances everybody if we continue to fight. And then, cliffhanger, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, every time, every time, I should have known it, I should have known it, I should have known it, but let's think about the outcomes that could happen from the spell, right? This fact that I just specifically said, don't tell anybody about this, right? So, I, the fact that, you know how leveling is so important, and how how do you miss, like, leveling probably should be kept secret unless it's already public knowledge. It would make sense if it's like an AoE level power boost, so, you know, I just doesn't want that rumor to be spread. Or it's some kind of like teleportation technique to get us all out of here. But I feel like it's not going to be the case because we still have to meet up with Bell, right? Eventually. So my guess is it's going to be an AOE level buff that makes Haruhime's spell even more valuable than before, right? So we met Marie the mermaid. She's great, but already like this show, man. It's always like Bell meeting a new girl and she just has some kind of sad reason. And you, you fucking feel sad because she can't get out of it. She's left behind and she can only exist in water. And she's also... She's, the thing about the Xenos is they're so pure, right? This mermaid is so pure, doesn't know anything. She just... That's why Belle is getting so flushed and embarrassed, right? But I like her already. Besides the character design, besides, you know, her... She is pretty unique in the fact that she's also a mermaid and she has, like, the mermaid charm song, whatever, that kind of, like, is able to communicate with others. But beyond that, I'd like her to, like, grow a pair of legs somehow. I'm not sure how. Maybe she'll adapt to the environment so that she can live with the other Xenos above. Because if she just by herself alone, Belle has to leave. And we can't bring her with us because, you know, we have to conquer all the... Or else, you know, <laughs> Weena's going to be like, What the fuck? You should have brought me instead of the mermaid. What? You know, we can't, you know, afford that, do that. The rest of the party is doing enough. Uh, they're not falling apart. To the point where I should even, like, uh, complimenting them, right? And it's Lily is really keeping everybody grouped together. This is pretty good development for Lily. Wells using a magic sword that's really expensive and really valuable. Mikoto, we got, we got, we got to see Mikoto's... Uh, her secret one one slash technique, right? One sword style technique, right? So that was pretty cool too. And now we're about to see how to human spell. So we're gonna see everybody's like individual, you know, before we gathered everybody, right? So everybody had their own little growth about what they were responsible for. Lily's to become a strategist. How to human wanted to learn other spells. Well, so just making more magic swords. Miko to wanted to learn a secret technique and other martial arts, right? All these things are supposed to be shown. So I'm, I'm glad that's already paying off. And we're gonna see how to human spell Kokonoi. Probably AoE, AoE buff, probably. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Only want me to find out and watch the next episode. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps YouTube out to push out my channel. And we recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.